everybody. Welcome back. You guys like my new backdrop? Uh, it's because this is the shower curtain actually. I'm sitting on the floor in the bathroom. <laughs> um, I wasn't even going to put makeup on today because I'm just watching my nephew. But while he's taking a nap, I said I would just go ahead and pre-record some Instagram reels. Which means I have to put a face on. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already washed my face and put on moisturizer and eye cream. So we're going to go ahead and jump on in with primer. I'm wondering what everybody's plans are for the week. Happy Monday. I already drank my first pot of coffee today. Oh yeah, feeling it. Got my primer on. I have, of course, work this week and all that kind of stuff. I've been working on filling out my planner. I actually lost my planner, and so I has like a whole month that nothing was written in, which makes my anxiety, not really my anxiety, but my, uh, what's the word, OCD, kind of. So crazy. I don't like that there's a whole month wasted. I feel like I wasted money by not using it that month. <laughs> I'm a little, I don't know what out there. Oh, whoops, I know what I'm looking for. You got me. Oh, oh goodness. This floor is not the most comfortable to sit on. I found my concealer the other day. <laughs> Actually today, not the other day. Uh, I can't remember if this is the first one I bought. In that case, it might be old. I've lost two concealers at this point. <laughs> but um, I'm really liking the way my skin looks, so I'm not going to do foundation today. I'm just going to do concealer around the spots that need to be concealed. Whoops. We're just going to add a little bit there and here. And this is all we're going to be using today. I like to use a dense brush when I do this. Oops. And while I'm blending this in, I was going to read something to you guys out of this devotional book. Um, I think I've read out of this before, maybe just in my beauty group, which if you're not added to and you'd like to be, go ahead and comment below and let me know. But, um, Get all that in there. We're getting this area up. Um, I bought this for Luke actually when he first moved to North Carolina to go to school. Um, it's uh, Chapel, Ch Paul Chapel's devotional book, Disciple. And basically, it's really cool. It just has like oops, the day you're supposed to read. It has scripture at the top and then like a short section that you read. And then it has... Um, if you're trying to read the Bible through in the year, it has the very bottom of the page where you should be reading in Old and New Testament. But today's, I really liked, and I'm going to butcher some names because I don't know basketball players' names. But um, it says, And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies that how they grow. They toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon is, in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Luke 12, verses 25 through 27. And actually, I was thought that was funny because um, that's what my last podcast episode was on this passage of scripture, except for it's the version of it that is in Mark, not in Luke. Um, so I really... I thought that was funny that that's the passage that was on today. And um, I'm just using my terracotta blush real quick. I'm going to bring it down my neck because I'm so pale. I'm so pale. So the example he uses for this, because it's talking about um, which one of you guys by wishful thinking can add, it's this cubit, but let's say inch, um, unto your height if you want to be taller. Um... I was going to put in these really cute pharmacy earrings my aunt sent me. She is the best. These are like the leather cutout ones. I'm not sure where she got these from. She probably knows somebody who makes them, or maybe she made them. I didn't even consider that thought, but she's very crafty, so 
she could have made it herself. Put the back on. I don't usually wear backs with these like hoop, like these dangly ones with like the backs that are long. Oh, my ring light is making it impossible for you guys to see anything. Just has a little pharmacy logo. This ear is always hard to get an earring in because the person who pierced this ear did it at an angle, so it's annoying. But look at my little danglies. <laughs> anyway, so it says just about every little boy who dreamed of growing up to be a basketball player wanted to be taller. I am not a little boy. I did not grow up wanting to be a basketball player, so not super relatable to me personally, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, let's see here. They looked up to those they saw on the court and realized that almost all of them were above average height. But there are exceptions like Tyrone Muggsy, and this is the name I'm going to mess up, Bogues, Bogos, <laughs> Bogues is what I'm going to call him. Please correct me in the comments of how to say his name. I've never heard of him before. Had a long NBA career as a professional basketball player, despite the fact that he stood only five feet, three inches tall. His rookie year, one of his teammates was Manute Bull, who at seven feet and seven inches was 20 in, 28 inches taller than Bogues. Despite his lack of height, Bogues developed a complete game that kept him in the league for 15 years. Um, so... He, that's, he goes on to talk a little bit more about Bogues. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you guys because I do need to get my makeup on. But the idea that we can only control things that we can control um, is something I really struggle with. Hardcore. I'm going to go with Morocco Brown today. Um, but, uh, for instance, this guy couldn't make himself taller. But he could practice. He could still be a good basketball player, even though he didn't have the height that other people had. I feel like a lot of times we give up on something but just by saying, like, oh, that's not going to be for me because I don't have these, these, these qualifications. Especially in ministry, I think we forget that um, God always, Christ always picked the people who were least qualified to do things for him. Um, the people that didn't seem like they'd be able to do much were the people he wanted. And I know that's something I struggle with personally. I feel like uh, in my ministry that I feel called to, I feel like God probably could have picked somebody a little bit easier with a little bit less problems somebody who was less easy to stress out somebody who uh, and not just in ministry I also think about this with my marriage sometimes I think it would have been better if Luke had married somebody who was a little bit easier going and <laughs> less uptight than I am um, but that's not who Luke wanted to be with. And I am very blessed that he wanted to be with me because he's an incredible husband. I just love him to pieces. But uh, sometimes that is a, a fear of mine. And I just have to remember that God chooses the weak things because the weak things are the ones that show how strong he is. And there's a lot of stuff I don't need to worry. I put more stress and worry on myself than God ever intended me to have. I think a lot of times we fight battles that aren't ours to fight. I can only focus on things I can control. And let God worry about changing the rest. If God wants, wanted Bogues to be taller, he definitely could have made him taller. But I just need to work on things I can control. Like being in my Bible or um, looking for areas around me right now where I can minister and um, be a help to my 
church now, and the people I'm surrounded by, my family, um, while I can. And then God will give me more things to do. Y'all, I can't believe May is almost over. Memorial, no. Are we in May or June? What month are we in? Hold on, let me get my phone. Okay, we are in May. I haven't lost my brain. Ooh. Memorial Day is just around the corner. I don't know if you guys have any plans. We, I totally forgot about Memorial Day. We've been talking about the 4th of July at church because we're having a big like church event my family would never really did very much on the 4th of July um, we oftentimes growing up would watch the Patriot uh, and um, cook out maybe but we, I mean, oftentimes we wouldn't even go see the fireworks it's just like too much and too hot in North Carolina to be doing all that mess too much traffic but Luke's family does a lot on um, the 4th of July weekend because it is um, one of Kim's brothers who passed away. It was his birthday, 4th of July. So they always do something really big. I, I don't think it's maybe big. It's big to me because we didn't really ever do anything. <laughs> um, but I think that that's really cool. So... I'm looking forward to it. We're actually going uh, to Winchester uh, at the end of, end of June because my sister is supposed to have a baby then. Oops. And we are going to help out at the offices there uh, when she first has the baby so that we can be there to help because she's going to need some time to recover time with that little one and we're looking forward to being able to be there to do that we're very excited um I do not know what's happening out there <laughs> but uh we're gonna come back for the fourth of july weekend and then go back up to winchester to stay for a couple more weeks but we really don't want to miss that luke has not been in michigan for the fourth of july in like four years, five years, and um, he's really looking forward to it, basically. What are you talking about this color? It's a little crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to tone it down. Don't worry. We're about to tone it down. Actually, I want to try something a little bit different to tone it down. Usually, I put my red over top of that, but let's take... My aunt does this. She draws. Oh. This is an eyeliner and a lip liner, so I don't know if it's going to work. Well, I think I just made a mess. <laughs> oh! I just got an idea, y'all. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? This, like this bright pink dries down so fast. Y'all, Pharmacy is about to release some more lip products. Uh, um, and I'm excited. I don't know what they're called or how much they're going to cost yet. But I saw a preview of the new shades. They're in my Instagram, in my Facebook and Instagram stories. If you want to check out the new colors coming? Um, somebody on um, oh my word! I love this combination right now. Some of y'all like you look crazy. I love the bright colors. Not gonna lie, <laughs> I think this looks awesome. Um, but. Uh, somebody, I follow a, like a pharmacy person on Instagram who's like really high up the food chain. I'm not sure what level she is. I think her name is like Mentor Maven or something like that on Instagram. 
and she posted that these things were coming and the higher up you are in the company you find out stuff before anybody else um so i was like "Ooh, it's coming and then pharmacy's instagram released like a little trailer video thing it says like kisses or whatever and i'm like yeah we're getting some new lip shades and i'm so excited for it <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to think here. Let's take a little highlight. We're just gonna pat that in. I feel like my face is in oh mascara. I forget to put mascara on so much, and I don't even understand why because it's something you wear every day. Like, well, not every day. Anytime I put makeup on, I wear mascara, but. When I'm doing lives, I don't know how many times I've forgotten to put mascara on. Can we appreciate how blue my eyes look today, though? They're looking, like, really blue for a couple reasons. One, this backdrop has this, like, blue in it. And because I put brown eyeshadow on and the red um, cream eyeshadow I used as eyeliner and the lipstick. Like, all this combined makes my eyes go, oh. What is your favorite facial feature? I'm interested to know. I know everybody has a lot of securities about insecurities about their face. I know I do. But my favorite thing about my face are definitely my eyes and my lips. So when I do my makeup, those are the two things I always try to accentuate. Because they're my favorite thing. This is just the Zen Mascara. And I use them today. It's like, this is a good mascara. It's not my favorite. I need to reorder my favorite. I've needed to reorder my favorite for a couple months. I just have this thing about owning multiple. So I kind of want to use this mascara all the way before I purchase another one, another mascara, even though they're different kinds. But you can see, like, you can't see any eyelashes on here. You can definitely see it over here. But... It's fine. It's a lengthening mascara. I just like prefer a volumizing mascara, so that's why it's not my favorite. My favorite is the Extreme Curl Floss Lash Effect because it really does curl my eyelashes. Like, I don't have to use an eyelash curler. Obviously, I'm not using one today either. I don't own one, or else I would. Um, should probably purchase one of those. Uh, it's not something I've done yet. You know. People know how it is, right? Maybe not. I have to build up my makeup stuff over a length of time. I don't have money just to go purchase everything on Bomberson's website. There's too much stuff. Even though it's all at great prices. They just, they have too many options, y'all. My hair is, I'm trying to remember how many days it's been since I washed it even. I don't even remember. It's like really grease at the top and dry at the ends. So I'm going to have to add some water, re-scrunch it, add some leave-in conditioner. It's really knotted in the back. It's struggling. I was going to take a shower, but I decided I'd just take a shower tonight before I go to bed. Um, so, are you a shower at night kind of person or a shower in the morning kind of person? I definitely can do both, but there's something nice about going to bed all clean, even though I don't really like going to bed with wet hair. That's the downside. Oh my gosh. It's just like, I don't even know where my hairbrush is. doesn't look that bad from the front, but the back of my hair is. It's something else, y'all. Let's just... Let's do something here. I didn't realize you were going to get hair and makeup today, did you? It's probably because I didn't know I was going to give it to you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
so funny. My niece, Naomi, um, I wear my hair up in a bun very often because it's just easy to kind of throw up. I don't like wearing my hair in ponytails because I get headaches when I wear my hair up in a ponytail. Anybody else? And <laughs> she's, very often times she'll be like, why are you wearing a bun? Like, again. <laughs> She's a very blunt little girl. If you don't know Naomi, she uh, she speaks her mind. She speaks her mind to me a lot. Uh, sometimes a little too much. Bless her heart. <laughs> Alrighty, so I think we are done here. I'm really liking this lip combination here. I think it could use a gloss over top. So I might add that, but I don't have it in my makeup bag. But I do like it a lot. Okay. Thank you, Aunt Pam, for the earrings. These are lovely. I'm going to finish making reels while I can before Logan wakes up from his nap. And I will let you guys go. If you're not following me on Instagram, though, come follow me, Build the Dream on 2. I will put my link tree in the description of this video, Rosebuds, okay? Thank you so much.